Filament number two is some translucent pet G in pink with sparkles. Sweet, I like turning with the glitter filaments. They hide the mistakes really well. The hot end temperature on this is 205 to 245. Bed temperature is room to 90. The speed is 25 to 80 millimeters per second and the cooling is none or low and the other is none. So the info describes this particular kind of pet G. Greengate exclusively extrudes filament from scrap plastics, no virgin found here. So they are using 100% recycled uh, PETG to make their filaments. That's really cool. There's some more information on here. You can look in the description. There'll be links to all the different filament companies' websites where you can get all the information you want on each of these filaments. We're just going to talk about the print settings, and that's PETG translucent pink with sparkles. So let's go ahead and cover up that QR code so you guys can see the front. And again, this is from Greengate 3D, and it's manufactured in the USA from 100% recycled materials. And I can barely see the sprinkle or the sparkles, so we'll have to see it when it prints. Down to this Pet G translucent pink with sparkles from Greengate 3D. Now these guys are an excellent filament manufacturer. It's uh, almost, I think all of their plastic is recycled. It's something, this is all recycled plastic, but I believe a lot of their stuff is. I have some samples of some of their filaments I'm gonna print with that they sent me just recently, really cool colors. So this was some really cool filament to get. I've been wanting to print with some of the Greengate products for a while now, and now that I have it, I'm super happy. This little Cali cat turned out perfect. You can see there's just a little bit of stringing on his tail, and there was a little bit of corner curling, but that's only because the nozzle gets really hot, and on certain stages of the print, with this temperature range of 205 to 245, we settled on 220. So it was running really hot, and with Pet G, you really don't want to get a lot of cooling on there because that's going to cause it to curl up even more because there's a small amount of shrinkage that happens with any kind of PLA or plastic printing and 3D printing. So you want to watch out for shrinkage and curling happens if it's, it's like a shock to the system, a shock to the plastic if it's cooled off too quickly, especially with PETG. So they clearly say on most packages, none or low cooling. For this particular, we had our fan at 10%. I mean, it was just a, a light breeze on it. And we were able to get a really good print. I'm really happy with the way this looks. It takes a little bit to see the sparkles, but they're there. So the Cali Cat turned out great. So of course we move on to the Rose Twist face and that turned out amazing. I love the texture of this filament. It is super smooth. It's got a nice glossy finish to it. The bottom printed out really shiny. There was no layer separation or issues. This is printed in vase mode. So you're gonna get really good bonding if you have your settings dialed in perfectly. And of course that just little bit of sparkle helps out. This is some really cool Pet G. I am anxious to try some more filament from Greengate, but I had a lot of success with this. Those prints turned out great. 